In this tutorial, I will show you how you can easily import live data for commodities to Google Spreadsheet. In order to create a commodity tracker that continuously updates the prices for, for example, gold and crude oil. So let's get started. And we'll concentrate on getting three different values. The price, the day's change, and the day's change in percentage. And then we'll do this for gold, silver, copper, platinum, palladium, and crude oil. To get the data from the precious metals, we'll go to a web page called Upmix. And here we can track the spot prices for gold, silver, platinum, and palladium. And here we have gold. So if you go a bit further down, you can see we have this table where we have the spot gold prices per ounce, gram, and kilo. And on the web page, this table is called table 9. And it then has three columns and four rows. And we need the gold price. So that will be row 2, column 2. To get the gold price, we need to designate this in our spreadsheet. So let's copy the URL. And then we'll go back. And to get the price, we need to write index. And then we'll write import HTML. And then we'll write an exclamation mark and copy in the URL and another exclamation mark. And then we'll write a comma. And then we'll have to designate table 9. And we'll write this in exclamation marks and a comma and then 9 and a comma, and then it was row 2, column 2. And then we'll just hit enter, and now it loads in the gold price. So to get the day's change, we'll go back to the web page, and the day's change, or the spot change, is located in column 3, row 2. Let's go back to the spreadsheet. So in order to get the day's change, we'll just copy-paste this whole code, and then we will change the column from column 2 to column 3 and hit enter, and now we have the day's change. In order to get the day's change in percentage, we'll write D3 divided by C3. And hit enter, and then we just need to change this to a percentage. So to get the price from silver, we'll have to do the same. So let's go back to the web page. And if you scroll up a bit, we can see that we also have the gold, the silver, the platinum, and the palladium here. So if we go back to silver, and then if we go up to the top, we can see that instead of gold, it says silver. So what we do is that we just copy-paste these three lines of code, and then we just change the gold to silver, and hit enter, and that will load in the silver price. So this is a really easy way to get the silver price instead of writing new codes. So to get the platinum, we'll just do the same. Change the silver to platinum in the URL. And the same here, just write Platinum, and that will load in the day's change, and the percentage will be updated automatically. So we'll do the same for Palladium, and instead of Platinum, we'll just write Palladium, and hit Enter. And we'll do the same for the day's change. Palladium, here we go. So this web page does not contain any data from copper and crude oil. So here we have to use another web page. And this web page is called MarketWatch. So here I've loaded the page for crude oil continuous contracts. And we have the price, the day's change, and also in percentage. It is possible to obtain the data from here, but it's quite cumbersome. But if we go down a bit, we have some tables also containing the data we want for crude oil and gas, and also gold, silver, and copper. And it also contained the prices of different crops like corn and soya beans and wheat. But here we have the copper continuous contract, and that is the data we need. So let's copy this whole URL and go back to our spreadsheet. And to get the price, we need to write index. Oh, sorry. Here, index. And then we'll write import HTML. And then we'll copy in the URL in quotation marks and the comma, and then we need to tell the spreadsheet to target table 8. So we will write table in quotation marks, and the comma, and then we'll write 8, and close bracket, and the comma, and row 4, column 2, and then a bracket, and then we'll just hit enter. And it should load in the copper price, and here we have it. To get the day's change, we'll go back to the web page to see where that is located. And we have that here, row 4, column 3. So let's go back to our spreadsheet. And then we'll just copy-paste this entire code. 
and paste it in under the days change. And all we need to do then is to change this to for column two to column three. And now it's loaded. And then we can just copy paste the days change down. To get the price from crude oil, we'll just copy paste this entire code. And then we'll go back to our spreadsheet to see where the crude oil is located. And we have it up here in table seven. So it's table seven, row two, column two. So let's go back and change that. So instead of table eight, we'll write table seven. And then it was row two, column two. And then here we have the price for crude oil. So let's do the same for the day's change. So that was row two, column three. And then we just need to copy paste the day's change in percentage. And that's it. By importing data from these two web pages, we can easily track the commodities gold, silver, copper, platinum, palladium and crude oil and get the latest prices for these commodities. So the last thing I want to do is just to shine this up a bit to make it more nice to look at. This commodity tracker is now available on my Patreon page together with other tools for stock analysis and portfolio tracking. And you can find a link to this page in the description below.